In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create authentic Sega Genesis music using Defle Mask. Not only is this video a step-by-step -step guide to Defle Mask, but I'll also teach you powerful concepts behind FM synthesis, the key to every Sega Genesis sound. This tutorial is designed to take you from beginner to expert, even if you've never created music with a tracker program before. This tutorial's first section is all about the basics of tracking, so if you're an advanced user, feel free to use the timestamps below to jump around. Also included is a download link to Defle Mask, it's free, and files used in this video. Before we begin, make sure Defle Mask is configured for Sega Genesis emulation by clicking Options, Change System, and selecting Sega Genesis. We create music by sequencing music data across various sound channels. The Sega Genesis system has six FM channels, three square wave channels, and one noise channel. Each sound channel contains rows, and rows are reprogrammed specific musical data. By default, there are five columns in each row. Each column serves as a container for specific musical information. The leftmost column contains the note to be played, followed by the volume column, instrument, effect, and lastly, effect value column. We can input musical data into these columns by pressing the spacebar and using our keyboard or MIDI device. The asterisk key increases the octave, and forward slash decreases the octave. The tab key inserts an off command in the note column, which activates the instrument's release phase. If no release phase is present, this command stops the sound immediately. Alternatively, we can set the volume column to zero to mute our instrument. Note playback can also be cut short on a specific row subdivision using the EC or note cut effect. Keep in mind that Devil Mask uses hexadecimal for the volume and effect columns, with 7F as the maximum value for volume. It's handy to both memorize a few basic hex values, or keep a hex calculator on hand. Also, check the Devil Mask manual for specific effects and the required codes. What about samples? FM channel 6 becomes a PCM sample channel when the 1701 effect is programmed in. We can increase or decrease the level error sample by adjusting the amplitude setting. Above this is the pitch, which allows us to modulate the frequency of our sample. Also, keep in mind the sample rate will change the pitch as well. How do I organize and playback my music? This music data is interpreted or played back starting from row 00, zero and progresses in increments of 1 until the last row defined by the user is reached. These progressions are known as patterns. Patterns are then sequenced together to create a piece of music. Press F5 to begin playback from the beginning of a pattern, or F7 to begin at a particular row. F7 also stops the music. The pattern editor lets us reuse patterns on an individual or collective basis. INS inserts a new pattern. DLE deletes a pattern, and copy copies a pattern. The number displayed is the pattern number. Left click increments it by 1, while right click decrements it by 1. Change all lets us change every pattern pattern in a particular row at once. The music's playback speed can be manipulated using the base time function along with the row speed settings. We can manipulate the row speed settings within our music to change tempo or time signature using the effects 09 and 0F. Additionally, there are other functions which allow for large-scale pattern manipulation like position jumps 0B and pattern breaks 0D. These are both effects. What about triplets? We can play back irrational rhythms using the delay note or ED effect. To determine how often we need to delay a note, sum the total number of row ticks and divide by the irrational divider, which is the value we can't display evenly across our rows. In the case of 3 against 2, we have 8 rows each with 3 ticks per row. That's 24 ticks. We can already evenly divide by 2, so we know the irrational divider in this instance is 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So to play back a triplet, a note should be played every 8 ticks. Count the number of ticks and delay accordingly. create and playback music now. But only using the default instrument. Let's learn how we can use FM or frequency modulation synthesis to spice things up. If your goal is to create classic sounding Sega Genesis music, Devil Mask can import instruments from your favorite Sega Genesis games and even other FM synthesizer patches. These files are easy to find online. Just search. However, for those of you brave enough to continue watching, it is extremely valuable to learn some theory behind FM. You can create some seriously wicked sounds. Really, it's awesome. If you're ready, let's dive into some basic FM theory. In FM synthesis, a waveform changes, or modulates, another waveform's frequency. The waveform responsible for the modulation is called a modulator, and the waveform that's modulated is the carrier. FM synthesis is often compared to vibrato. Really fast vibrato. This is because vibrato functions the same way FM synthesis does. Some thing changes a note's frequency. In the acoustic realm, we use different parts of our body to change a pitch, like our voice, or fingers. In the digital realm, the change comes from an oscillator generating a waveform. Like in FM, vibrato has two major parameters, depth, or how much the frequency is shifted, and rate, or how fast each shifting cycle is. For an FM instrument, these are labeled as the level, or how much the modulator signal changes the carriers, and the modulator's frequency. In Defle Mask, waveforms are generated and manipulated by operators. An individual YM2612 operator is made up of an oscillator, which creates a sine wave, volume envelope, which shapes the waveform's level over time, amplifier, which controls the level of the signal, and multiplier, which changes the operator's frequency along the harmonic series. Operators are chained together in different configurations called algorithms. This makes FM synthesis possible, as we can feed one waveform's output into another's input. Generally speaking, 
The more operators chained together, the more metallic and FM-like the output sound is. Less operators in a signal chain means we're performing less frequency modulation and thus producing a less affected sound. To get a better idea of this, let's open up Defle Mask's default FM instrument. Upon closer inspection, we can see that this instrument is really four operators. Operator 1's output modulates operator 2's input. Operator 3's output modulates operator 4's input. Notice how, in this algorithm, operators 3 and 4 are configured the same exact way as operators 1 and 2. They're copy-paste of the same two operator setup. Also note, they don't modulate or run into one another. Each FM unit is in parallel. Let's prove this by simplifying our algorithm. Isolate operators 1 and 2 by turning off operators 3 and 4. Now, operators 1 and 2 are the only operators in play. This is the simplest form of FM synthesis possible. A two-operator chain. We have a modulator, operator 1, and a carrier, operator 2. If we turn down the modulator, we can hear the operator's oscillator produce a sine wave. As we slowly increase the modulator's amplifier, we start to hear the modulator at work, and that sweet FM sound. Hey, but what if I want to change the frequency of the modulator? You said this is like fast throttle, right? If you recall my FM synthesis explanation, I mentioned how the modulator can be set to different frequency or rates of its own. This is possible through the MULT, or multiplier, parameter. The multiplier parameter directly alters the input frequency along the harmonic series. Test this by first muting the modulator. Next, play a note. Increase the multiplier by 1. Play the same note. Notice how, just in the harmonic series, the value of 2 generates an octave above the fundamental frequency. The value of 3 generates a perfect fifth above that and so on, up the series. This is useful for the modulator because we can alter the rate, or how often our waveform modulates the carrier. Turn the modulator back up and listen to the quality of the sound change. The lower values are closer to the fundamental frequency, while the higher values produce more tinny and high-pitched sounds. Now that we know how to both adjust the modulation depth and rate, we have the very basics of FM synthesis under our belt. But what if I want to control how fast the FM kicks in? Simple. Adjust the ADSR envelope. ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. The attack is how long it takes for the envelope to reach its peak level. Decay is the time it takes to reach the sustain, which is the level sustained while a note is held. And release is the time it takes for the envelope to completely close after the note has been released. We can also change the overall envelope speed with the RS or rate scaling parameter. What if I want to dynamically return to my carrier wave once ADSR envelope based on a variety of predetermined geometric functions? If I can expense a fancy modern FM synthesizer. The SSGEG is an envelope generator. It produces eight different shapes, each with their own character. Remember that the envelope retriggers only work if your waveform completes the cycle. In other words, sustain mutes the effect. Okay, that's great and all, but I want to make some sweet guitar instruments. I need feedback. That's the FB, or feedback option. We can reroute our output back into the signal chain with it. If I want to do that wobble wobble effect with the volume. That's amplitude modulation, and it's right above the feedback control. Set how much amplitude modulation you'd like, and make sure to click the AM checkbox in the appropriate operator. Yeah, I want to do that one with the note too. That's the frequency modulation sensitivity above the AMS setting. It controls how the LFO, or low frequency oscillator, changes the overall picture of your sound. What if I want to make my own FM instrument from scratch? I want to make a cool guitar, and bass guitar. Also, funky synth. Oh, and percussion. And drums. Let's model some instruments using the concepts we've learned. Distorted electric guitar. Designing an instrument from scratch, the algorithm setting is often the most impactful choice you can make. For a distorted electric guitar, let's use algorithm zero. Unlike algorithm number four, which mixes together two sounds, algorithm zero chains each operator into one another. This means operator one modulates operator two, which in turn modulates operator three. And finally, the composite waveform modulates the carrier operator four. The result is an almost distorted sound like an electric guitar. If we play with the ADSR filter, we can shape the output to be even more guitar-like, with a sharp plucked attack and longer decay. Finally, we can manipulate the global feedback control to turn up the crunch factor. Electric bass. Let's 
try to make a base with algorithm two. Like algorithm zero, we have an operator chain modulating one another. Unlike algorithm zero, we also have an unaffected operator modulating the carrier. The bottom operator chain lets us create a distinct metallic FM sound, while operator one gives us the option to tweak how distorted the sound is. Breathy, thin. Brass synth can be created using algorithm 5. This algorithm runs three operators in parallel, which are then simultaneously modulated by operator 1. With some detuning, the operators running in parallel allow us to create a thick, brassy sound, while the modulator adds character to the sound. Modifying the ADSR filter helps as well. Here, we'll add a slow attack, delay, and release. Additionally, we'll turn up the feedback to add to the brass-like timbre. Percussion. Simple FM percussion is possible with a two operator chain. Percussion is noisy, so increase the feedback to seven and turn the modulator waveform all the way up. Next, create a short ADSR envelope for the carrier waveform. The decay values are most important. To create an open hi-hat, simply copy the instrument and increase the decay time. To make a simple kick, copy the closed hi-hat and reduce the feedback and multiplier values. Finally, we can make a snare using the SN4 channel. This isn't an FM channel, so all we have to do is create an envelope akin to a snare, and we're done. As you can hear, just by understanding the algorithms, we can create some simple but pretty effective FM instruments quickly. From tracking basics to advanced FM synthesis concepts, we've covered a lot. To help you incorporate this information into your actual music composition process, I've created a short free book, The Decimal Mask Cheat Sheet. There's a decimal to hexadecimal table, common effects, information about the harmonic series, and waveform graphs for the SSGEG. If you're interested, I've included a link to that in the description below. As always, I'm happy to answer any questions in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Hey, aren't you gonna tell people to <laughs>